uh, you've actually reached uh, $100,000 in revenue. Now, not for the first month, but for the second, third month. Where, where are we at right now? It's, it's the third month already, I think. Cool. That's like awesome. before that, it was just like kind of zero in every single shop. And then this one was like, it just blew up. Yeah. How quickly did you go from like from zero to 100,000 in that shop? That was less than one month. I think it was like three weeks or something. Like yeah. I, I was trying, I was trying different shops and different products, and all of them were kind of working, kind of not. And this one, I was like, let's let's put in even more effort. And after after I did this, finally, it just went like it just blew up. I don't even get it myself because I always used to watch these kind of uh, YouTube videos of people being super successful, being like one million per month and, and stuff. And I'm always thinking, where are the people who are not doing so well, like like me, right? And now I feel like I've been there just like like 12 weeks ago. I've been one watching these videos and thinking like, how can I get there? And finally, I feel like I can't, I don't even get it yet. What are the struggles that you're facing now that you are growing? Like, um, what, what were your expectations before you went into the kind of six figure a month range on how that would play out? And what was the reality of it? So what's the, what's the struggle in growth? Because I think a lot of people see the money and the numbers, but there's, there's, there are, there's a different side to that as well. Um, I would love for you to elaborate a little bit on, on what are your struggles Great now? Question. And, you know, how, how can you Great overcome question. these things? <laughs> in, in, in the beginning, I just thought it's about finding the perfect Facebook ad. And then once you have an ad that costs like five, that spends five euro per sale, you just scale it forever and you're like a trillionaire. But in the end, turn out it like the Facebook ads, you even have to keep them on the low if you have not set up the whole business like upfront because what I noticed for example I didn't have anyone for customer support because as I told you I didn't even believe in it I thought like let's just try this one last time if it's not good for me it's not good for me and then it, it blew up and I, I I didn't have anyone for customer support I didn't have uh, like uh, fulfillment apps installed the right way I didn't even know how to fulfill actually because I just jumped over that uh, part in the course I'm like yeah, once you get orders, you figure it out, right? Uh, so actually, it was not like the dream was just to scale once you have a winning ad, but it's just not interesting at all. Like I'm not taking care of my Facebook ads at all. They're just running right now. And I am taking care of uh, like cleaning stuff up, having the right apps that do uh, many things for you so you don't have to do it manually, teaching my customer support guy uh you know to answer answer the questions uh, finding out how how customers like the product like i don't want to scam people i want people to have a good product i want to know their questions i want to uh, like you know like create uh faqs for them videos for them to understand the product and once these things are in place then i'm going to get back to the facebook ads and scale them up but scaling is just not not the issue even though everyone teaches you it was like there's no way i could have scaled right now without um, like improving the, the company, basically. Mm. So no one talks about uh, uh, the systems, right? The one is the supply chain, then the other one is customer satisfaction, and uh, like these these become so important things where no one ever talks about in the beginning, right? Um, and I think I think that's really interesting.